Observers, per previous instructions, I'll assume you are relatively caught up on the basics of Earth's electromagnetic condition. In case there are any newcomers to the channel, here's a bit of review of where we stand. There have been more than 50 publications detailing how Earth's magnetosphere, our planetary magnetic shield, is weakening. These are just a few. The WDC for Geomagnetism in Kyoto, Japan has created this animation showing how Earth's magnetic field is fading quite quickly. In this animation, white and pink are strong protective fields and blue and violet are the weaker fields. Back in 2011, the European Space Agency confirmed that our field had lost about 15% of its protective magnetism. In a world seemingly on the constant brink of war, where it's hard to agree on anything, nearly every country and scientist who studies our magnetosphere manages to come to the same conclusion. It is fading fast. The ESA's Swarm satellite mission has been keeping us updated. As of this year, the field is still weakening faster and faster. Some commenters suggest we could have lost 20% or more of our protection at this point. The mission manager from Swarm said that the field is likely weakening because the poles are getting ready to flip, which, by the way, all scientists also agree is long overdue on Earth. But in literally the very next sentence, it is claimed that this will take thousands of years. However, as NASA reported back in 2003, the poles have already begun shifting, and they are not taking their time. The shifting of the poles is taking the same speedy approach that our magnetosphere is taking, faster and faster. And the guess from 2010 of where we'd be in 2015 is already considered well short of actual movement. At this time, the poles are moving at least 65 kilometers per year, and probably faster by now, which puts Earth's full reversal only decades away, assuming it doesn't speed up anymore. If it does continue to speed up, we could be much closer. Could a reversal truly take place within our lifetimes? Absolutely. The newest information comes from Berkeley, not the folks to ignore. And they say the reversal can happen in a very short time period. This latest study shows a slow ramp up to a rapid shift and tipping point. This makes a process that happens 10 times faster than anyone else has predicted. The poles began shifting fast in the middle of the last century. The magnetosphere began weakening even earlier, and it turns out that this process can take less than a hundred years total. Perhaps most importantly is confirmation of what the ESA said months ago. The magnetic field weakening precedes the pole flip. We'll get our next measurement of polar position next year, 2015. Meanwhile, the shield above our heads continues to fade and the needle on your compass will point north in ever different directions. All we can do now is wait, hope the flip holds off longer than it already has, and hope the sun doesn't take advantage of our lack of protection.